Quarter side seats time, Mike Johnson. And uh, we're gonna start off with the Ottawa Senators in that Eugene Melnick video, so many quick. He's wearing a jersey that's what, 12 years old. <laughs> He's being interviewed by one of his own players, which right. a lot of it made no sense. What was your reaction? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. <laughs> um, first for poor Mark Borowiecki. I mean, that's yeah. an impossible situation. You interview your owner and come off okay. I mean, it's yeah. very difficult. He did a nice job with it. I don't. I understand wanting to communicate with the fans and, and the sponsors, and I, that's not a bad idea. But in that forum, it, it was just so so strange to to think of looking at that finished product and saying, "This is the most effective way for us to get this message out." Because the message is fine. We're right. rebuilding. I'm not selling the team. I'm not moving the team. Those are all good things. But just that way to do it is Odd. peculiar. He's yes. working yes. with a with a PR group that. I'm not sure they have his best interests at heart because <laughs> then he follows that up on Tuesday with a open letter to fans. And in this letter, he mentions some of the Sens' previous success but follows it up with, last season, we were horrible. And it just wasn't acceptable. We must get back to winning, winning a lot more, and with more consistency. We know that this rebuild makes us the underdog, and we love it. We will do better, I assure you. We are here to stay. We want you with us side by side every step of the way. Now, to his credit, mm -hmm. um, Listen, he had, a, he had a bad go last year with the media when he essentially alluded to the fact that he might have to move the team. So it's all damage control at this point. But when you're saying, you're talking rebuild, and you know Eric Carlson, you know Matt Duchesne, you know Mark Stone are set to be UFAs, are they essentially gone now? Is, it, is that the message? I mean, message? I think. If we're, if we're, the three of them are the three of us. Well, Eric Carlson, I think, is gone for sure because it's been, you know, for all the stuff that's gone on there and he could have signed an extension, he's not going to. But really for Stone and Duchesne, they're going to get paid no matter where they go. And they probably might get paid even more to go somewhere else. And if you're thinking, these are my best eight years, do I want to spend half that time at least going through a rebuild? A rebuild that Ottawa is appropriately doing. This is not on Ottawa. But if you're a player that is great, and these players are great, they're great because they want to win. They're competitors. And I don't think the prospect of playing three to five years while rebuilding while you go from 27 to 32, 33, is exactly what they would have in mind. They want to win. And that's not going to happen anytime soon in Ottawa. So unless Ottawa overpays, which is probably not going to happen given where they are, yep. or if you love, 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 love playing for the Ottawa Senators living in Ottawa or around Ottawa. We know Matt Duchesne is very fond of being yeah. close to Halliburton. That's true, that's true. That may play in, but I know I think all three of us are, are moving on and which will help also speed up the rebuild. Right. Because what we can get for the three of us, what they could get for Carlson, Stone, and Duchesne is a ton to help push this forward. I want to get your thoughts on Steve Eiserman. Uh, that was the big news on Tuesday. Eiserman stepping down as GM of the Lightning. He's going to move into an advisory role this season, the final year of his contract. Uh, Julian Brisewell is going to take over as GM. He served as the team's assistant GM since 2010, the same year Eiserman joined the club. Mm -hmm. First off, I appreciate you all coming down today. It's just a regular day, two days before training camp starts. Um, that was a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Yes. Yeah, trust me, I know. I feel this change uh, in role is important, important for me, uh, which will allow me to spend more time with my family, and it also ensure that the Tampa Bay Lightning are managed to the standards that, that Jeff uh, all of us, everyone that works in this organization and is associated with this organization has come to expect. A few mm -hmm. takeaways. Eiserman looks like a million bucks. Always does. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, it was revealed, people didn't know that he was commuting back from yeah. uh, Tampa to Detroit, so that was taking its toll, but strange timing. It is on a couple different fronts. I mean, two days before training camp is strange, but he alluded to the fact that they talked about this in the summer and it just took to this point to sort out the details about Breezeball taking over and the advisory role and how that would work. Uh, okay, I guess so. But almost more so, if you, you put in the time and energy that he's put into Tampa, and they are right there on the cusp. They're on the verge. For the next five years, the fruits of his labors right. could result in a Stanley Cup. I'm never going to fault someone for wanting to go back to their family. Totally makes sense. If they're in Detroit and that's, you know, where his family's at. But... Um, yeah, to, to step away at this point and to only have one year left on your contract. Because any GM that's having any kind of success, they all have term on term on term. They just renew themselves all the time. So it's all very surprising, and it can't help but then start to connect the dots. Yeah. Because So he likes Detroit. His family's mm -hmm. there. Great Detroit player. 
Ken Holland has been there forever. Ken Holland's been linked to Seattle. Ken Holland goes to Seattle. Detroit needs a GM. It's not just about bringing back you know, a great player. You're bringing back a guy who's proven himself to be a great GM as well. Seems to maybe a natural fit there. During the press conference, he didn't answer plans beyond this year. He's going to just see how it goes and see what happens. So um, maybe there's some of that. Um, but it, it'll be different because he's done a lot of good things. Like he stared down Stamkos, took him all the way to free agency. He was challenged by Marty St. Louis about the Olympics, and he won that deal and got Marty St. Louis out of town. He traded Ben Bishop, put his faith in Vasilevsky. He got Heaven and Kucherov on under market value deals. Yep. So he's done a lot of really good things. And even in the soft season, extended some players. Yeah. I mean, they've got a, they got like McDonough you said, signed up. They yeah. got JT Miller signed up. They're gonna be good for a long time. It's a it's an odd time to step away. Um, maybe you just I don't know commute a little less or whatever, like hang out in Detroit more, but um, you got to go home to your family, you got to go home to your family.